Hi, my name is David. Today we're going to do a JavaScript tutorial on free code camp. And we're going to learn about the comparison operator in JavaScript. So this comparison operator lets us know if we're going to return the Boolean true or false. And this is just applying the data type of Boolean to it. So we have this operator equals equals. And we compare two different things. So let's look at an example to better understand it. So we have an if. So before it will just have one value inside of it. Now we can have a equality and comparison operator. So if my val is equal to 10, if that's true, we will return this one. And then afterwards, and when we return, that means we execute that, we exit that line of code. If not, we go to the next line of code and we return not equal. And there's also, what we talked about before, there's different types in JavaScript, different data types of numbers and strings. So if we compare a, a number one to a string one, this will do a, a type coercion where it's gonna change it to make it the, the value the same. It's gonna convert the data type for it. So for this exercise, it wants us to add the equality operator to the indicated line so the function will return the string equal when the value is equivalent to 12. So we want to change this line. So we want to use the operator. So what we want to do it is equal to 12. And then we return equal. If not, return not equal. And we can test this out with 10. And we can put the console log so we can see it. Not equal. Well, it should go before it. And now console equal. So we see here, we test it with a 10 and we run this, it's not equal. So 10 goes in the val, and then it sees 10 is equal to 12. It doesn't run this code. So it goes here and then it returns not equal. And now we can change it to two. 12, I mean, to see that it's equal. And now we see that it's equal because it goes through here. And that's it for this one. Thank you so much.